You're gonna get out of here. You're gonna go on. And you're gonna make lots of babies. And you're gonna watch them grow. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we've got a boat today to review. Now, I've not reviewed a boat before. Um, I've reviewed an airboat, but not an actual boat. You've seen the title, so you know what it is. Um, it's the Titanic, so let's get it out of this packaging and then we're gonna unbox it and have a look. So this was sent from Banggood for review. So shout out to them for getting it to me relatively quick actually, it's a couple of weeks. Uh, if you wanted to keep the box, then uh, <laughs> you might have to have a word with Banggood about their uh, packing techniques. So if you watch the channel for some time, you'll know this is definitely not the sort of thing I usually review, but I saw it, it's the Titanic. Um, why shouldn't I get it to review? Anyway, look at the scale. It is one 325th scale. Uh, length, 805 millimetres. And width is 100 millimetres. It doesn't say what the height is, but looks like it might be proportional. It says digital proportional system. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look. Four channel, let's move you in closer. Four channel remote control, three, three, eight, Three 360 S motors with three propellers, 700 milliamp hour battery with charger, steering controlled by servo, detailed deck, uh, superstructure, deck illumination, presentation rack, instruction manual, and built in stern tube. Looks good. What we got here, yeah, 360 motor lights, radio control. A bit of history about the Titanic. Picture of it on the back of the box. And that's about it. Should we get it out and have a good look? Da -da -da. It even comes in its own iceberg, look. Transmitter. Just a generic, quite cheap feel in the throttle feels very um not much movement on there. Uh steering trim throttle trim, so hopefully that is proportional. Steering feels proportional as well, but we shall check that. USB charger. A little presentation stand. I think these are, I don't know if these are accessories for the boat or whether they're spare, because it's got some on there as well. So they might be spare ones. Nice poster for your wall of a uh, iceberg and some water. No instruction manual, which is always handy. We've got to find where the battery goes. There's a little compartment just up here. So on the box, it says 700 milliamp hour. That is a 9.6 volt. 3,200 milliamp hour battery. That is a decent size. So hopefully, should give this quite a bit of runtime. Anyway, let's get this thing charged up. While we're charging up the battery, let's have a detailed look at the boat. <laughs> So panic over, I did find the instructions. They were stuck at the bottom of the box. So it just gives you an overview of the boat, and tells you where the battery goes and what the uh, controls do. You've got steering trim, throttle trim, you've got your on and off switch, you've got lights, um, yeah, and some troubleshooting there as well. It's actually quite well detailed. Um, it does look a little bit toy-ish. It is a toy at the end of the day, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there that are into your uh, detailed modeling and stuff, you'd be able to make this look pretty nice. Anyway, battery's got a bit of charge in it, so let's get the battery in. Let's have a look at the lights. Let's have a look at the controls. And uh, yeah, see what it's like. So it's a, just a normal Tamiya style plug. Stick it in there loads of space in that battery tray transmitter on apparently you press this oh we got lights right steering oh yeah the rudder works it is proportional 
Now let's try the throttle. That's proportional as well. And reverse. There's not much speed there. Like I said, I've not had a boat before, so. I guess that's enough to uh, propel it along at a uh, relatively steady cruise. Again, proportional. Right, let's turn off the lights and see what this looks like. Oh, very nice. Doesn't really show it on the camera, but it's very red. So the exhaust or whatever you call them, funnels, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> they're um, very red and then the lights along here are nice and yellow. Looks good. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. Um, the weather's not really good enough at the moment to take this out. Um, I'll be taking this out very soon. Keep an eye on the channel uh, for the running video of this. Link in the description. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.